too. Wanna call it a day? How's it looking by you? Dirt and rock. Just like last hour and the hour before that. All right, head out. I'll be there in a few. Best part of the day. Wait a minute. What is it? Tracks at the base. One of ours? No, I don't think so. Storm drain dumps out on the other side of the hill. Let's link up over there. Il avait acheté à tout bord. Supposed to have that Eight six five, two to three sets of tracks moving into the storm drain at Echo thirty one, moving to pursue. Tracks have split, continuing pursuit one half mile northeast of Echo 31. Requesting backup. Looks like they cut the road at the wash. Response needed. One half mile northeast of Echo 31. One friendly down, knife wound to the chest. One hostile in custody. They're taking him back to base. They'll airlift him to UMC from there. At least they got him stable. You all right? 
Yeah. Story on the girl. Sure, it's nothing you hadn't already heard. Any documentation on her? If she had, she wouldn't be trying to squeeze through a storm drain. She says they were supposed to be meeting up with her parents. They got by us a couple of days ago. Three y'all took out were her older siblings. That explains a lot. What are we doing with her then? We'll hold her for the night, but she'll be back in Mexico by morning. I think we should look at the parents first. She's got nobody now. Ah, uh, hell, they're long gone, especially with a couple of days head start. Probably deep inside New Mexico. Hell, maybe even Texas. Sorry, Reyes. You know how these things go. Go on home. There's nothing we can do here now. All right, Chief. Back up, you're covering for Reyes. Chief? Morning. You got a minute? All day, apparently. Reyes, this is Ivan Sloan. He just transferred here from Texas. We got three minutes. Ivan and his team specialize in foreign and domestic counterterrorism operations. Washington has cycled them through here to assist us with a level three classified threat. So as of right now, their primary focus is on the Chacal cartel. You know anything about them? Nothing other than hearing something about them making their way east. They had, but with changing their game in the world of narcotics traffic. Washington's issued a state of emergency for the entire Southwest. Ivan here has managed to push them out of Texas, effectively cutting them off. He and his team have extensive experience in these kind of containment things. Containment? The Chacal cartel has brought something new to the states. It's a nasty, highly toxic substance. Rivals the effect of heroin three times over. So what do you need me for? Well, there's been sightings of this shit as far as the Texas-Louisiana border. Ivan and his team believe they've seized all the supply of the product, pushed it out of Texas, through New Mexico, and down to right here. And we haven't had any confirmed cases in Arizona yet, and by God, I'd like to keep it that way. So they've asked that we put our top guys on board with Ivan. And seeing how this will be the cartel's last and probably hardest push, they could use the extra hand. Something on your mind? When you think about it, we can get back to it. What's a Mexican doing in Border Patrol? What does that have anything to do with it? The chief gave me the rundown on you, and that's all well and good. But if you want to roll with my guys, you're going to answer my questions. I didn't ask to roll with anybody. Your family got their citizenship, came over here legal. That's great. But land of opportunity, and you chose this path? Why? You're right. My father did get us our citizenship. But not before getting denied twice during a 22-month waiting period. He fought to get us here. I wanted to do something to contribute to a place he knew was going to give us a better way of life. You know, I'm sorry my career choice disappoints you. Not all of us come here to paint your houses and build your fences. Reyes, nobody can be assigned to this. You got to give it a yes or a no. I'm also told you want to work your way up to NSA level someday. One word from me and they'll come knocking. But if he doesn't want to do it, you can just throw somebody else at me. We'll start again tomorrow. What did you say you're here for again? 
We're small man teams going after big targets. The reason this is such a tier one issue is because it produces a flesh-eating virus and viruses spread. This is still an entirely foreign substance and its cause of contraction, other than direct use, is currently unknown. Seems like something we could handle on our own. I seized over 600,000 pounds of narcotics and shut down the largest human trafficking circle Brazil has ever seen. I'm here to make sure that this nasty shit doesn't get into our country. It rips the flesh right off the bone. But to the junkie, it's just the next high and they'll pay dearly for it. Poor bastards don't know the difference until it's too late. And they'll make a profit on it while the rest of the country kills itself from the inside out. If it gets out and goes widespread, your chief is right. A lot of innocent families try to get into the country the right way, but they end up getting denied because they're already infected by it. You'd be helping to put a stop to that. But if he wants to stay where he's at, it makes no difference to me. We'll just run down the list until we find someone who sticks. Neighbors called in on suspicion of sheltering some undocks. We don't have a headcount, could be two, maybe 20. Hostile? Weapons on site? Also unknown. Neighbors say they only leave the property after dark, so stay sharp. Rules of engagement are weapons free. Is that necessary? Reyes, everyone, everyone, Reyes. Make no mistake, these people are enemies of the state and should be treated as such. All right? Let's hit it. Reyes, your bean speak is probably the strongest, so you're first to the door. here with you? It's all clear. Copy. Make yourself useful. English? Yes. What are you doing here? I'm here to work. That's all. I heard that one before. Documentation. Documentos, I show you. Don't Don't move. Where is it you work? The man that owns the house has small business, okay? I work there, he paid me very little, but he let me stay here. Till I have money for my own house. 
Okay? Please. May I show you my documentos? Follow this man right here. We'll just have a few papers for you to sign, and then we'll let you get back to your evening. Race. Somebody's here for you. Evening, fellas. I'm taking that one in overnight, but the place is yours. What's the story with him? Most papers check out, says he works for the house owner. Where's he? I don't know. So, maybe you should run those papers. All right. I'll be in and out. How about that? Hey, what are they doing here? All calls originating from neighborhoods like this go to us and the PD, but they still have jurisdiction. It's all good, though. I told them the deal. him out of the vehicle. Step out. Get out of here now. You can't find your back. What? Cannot move. Hey, what's happening? Hey. Found an unregistered weapon and narcotics under the bed. Wait, this me, wait. That's not mine. I checked the bed. And look what you missed. Wait, no, 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 no. Junichi, now! You, you can't do this! You can't do this to me! I have done nothing! Fuck you! What about his papers? You know how long it took him to get those? Probably less than an hour. They're fake. What? Fake, forged, void, whatever you want to call it. And you know that for sure? I wouldn't be in my position if I wasn't. Cartel boys have been swapping tactics lately, sending in innocent civvies as scouts. This right here proves they can provide passable documentation. I'd like to see his papers. What? His papers, can I see them? No can do. PD already has them in evidence. Listen, Reyes, you're gonna have to pick up on some things if you want to stick around. You want to get the bad guys, they want to get you more. Think about this as a learning experience. You should just soak up how desperate they are to keep their teeth dug into us. Get that, Ivan? What about the homeowner? There's a chance that stuff could have been his. Not likely. The PD will be following up with him. I know how you feel about these people, and I understand why. But if you let your emotions rule your trigger finger, they will take advantage of you.
We're going out again soon. You ready to roll? Yeah. Yeah, listen, I'm sorry that your first day out with us had to be like that. You care about these people. Nobody to judge that. Unfortunately, days like that are the nature of the beast. You gotta learn to expect that not everybody is what they seem. I know. It's just a look in his eyes, you know? It... You think he's innocent? You gotta keep that inside, lock it away. These monsters will take everything from you that they can possibly get, regardless of the fact that you share skin tone. They're not monsters. Well, when you put that uniform on, you became one to them. Your father is a proud citizen of this country, I'm sure, and I know that you are, too. You just got to be willing to uphold that when it really counts. See you outside, yes? Yeah. Look out. My what? Hey, Joe. Sight and size, I wager they drove off a three, four mil in profit. Took every cent with them. All of it untaxed. No, sir. Not all of it. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. Clear and not a cloud in sight. You. So what the hell you did? All right, everyone. Oh, yeah. Dial it down. We got a problem? You're gonna have a fucking problem when Morris finds out about That's gonna be real hard to do when the next bus back to red, white, and green is dragging your brown life to satisfy. Fuck you, fucking 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 bitch. Take a walk. Walk. And you come with me. Let's talk about what you thought you saw before you do something stupid like dragging your captain into this. There's nothing to talk about. A member of whatever branch of the U.S. government has an illegal substance in his system. While on duty, this will be reported to Morris. Well, I think they'll hard before doing that. Especially when you have no proof. I watched him do it. Maybe he watched you do it. Maybe we all did. You don't think I could find my way around a piss test? What the hell is this? This is whatever you want it to be. It could be your ticket upstairs with the big boys or the end of your time at BP, but what it won't be is finger pointing because you're a little shy in the sheets. We run a different kind of show around here, and I get it. Nothing makes sense to you now, but I can assure you that all that was was a field op at the top of his game testing the purity of our friend's product. Bullshit. We got people for that kind of thing. I'm not going to dangle a pay raise in front of you and inspect the pool of shade over my eyes that easily. Sometimes, to get into the mind of a monster, you have to dine at the same table. Now, you don't have to be here. I told you that from the very beginning. So suck it up, gut it out until we're done, and get my recommendation or jump ship, but don't threaten me. I guarantee you that'll be the last mistake you make. Now, come on. John here!
See if you got a minute. Sure. I'd like to hear about that cook side anyway. Everything runs smooth, I take it. That's what I wanted to talk to you about, actually. Ivan and those guys are the best, aren't they? We're lucky to have them. Where exactly are they from, Chief? I know he spent some time in Texas, but beyond that, what? Are we looking at DOD, CIA, something even above that? May I ask why you're suddenly so interested? I just want to know what we're dealing with, sir. Well, to be perfectly honest with you, your guess is as good as mine. They're here to help with the never-ending struggle. And for that reason alone, I don't ask that question. None of the station chiefs do. Sir. I think it's in our best interest if we ask them to leave. Let us handle this. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about, Reyes? This is a shot any one of your colleagues would love to have. And it's an opportunity for you to rocket up the ladder. Beyond that, it's Washington finally admitting that we have a serious issue down here. They've listened, and now they've answered. Now, unless Ivan's done something that would warrant me calling up the chain, I've got no power over them. They stay until the job's done. Reyes? No, nothing, sir. They just work a little differently. I'm not sure it's where I want to be. You're an outsider to them. We're all on the same team, and they know that. You could learn a lot from Ivan. Now, if you want off the assignment, I can't make you stay. But I'd like to see you finish. They could use a guy like you. Thank you, Chief. You got a visitor, by the way. Back from the dead. You can't get rid of me that easy. So what's it looking like, man? That fucker missed my heart by a fraction of an inch. You believe that? What heart? <laughs> Why, you look good. Oh. It hurts to put a shirt on, but sitting on my ass at home, that's the real killer. I hear that, man. Listen. I fucked up out there. I didn't have your back. Give me one of those bags that wasn't for you. Save my ass. We're all ready for you to be back. I should be cleared for light duty in a couple of days. Definitely don't look like they're from around here. Transfer from Texas. I'll tell you about that later. We're overstaffed the way it is. So why don't you come by tomorrow? Jen's having to get together, and Haley keeps bugging me about you. Oh, man, I wouldn't miss it. All right. Bien? Sí. ¿Qué haces tan tarde, Miro? Repesando un trabajo. Lo siento si te desperté. ¿Qué tipo de monstruo sería capaz de hacer esto? Los que busco. Pero no sé si puedo detenerlos. Temo que cambiaré si me involucro. No sé si puedo quedarme donde estoy. Vas a ayudar a sacar a nuestra gente de peligro, ¿no? Nadie tiene la culpa. Las cosas son como son. Pero va a ser mía si no cambia. Entonces... have a few years by my count. You gonna tell on me? Could look the other way. I need something to sway my decision. 
That beer would be a good start. Your gut says otherwise. How summers between you? Six hours a day on top of Dad giving me the daily guilt trip about having to cancel our vacation. Wow. Your dad wasn't the best in school either, but you didn't hear that from me. Try to hit the range this weekend. You want to get schooled again. As soon as you can convince him to take me off the chain. You're doing pretty good. I'll see what I can do. I just have to get through senior year and I'm gone. Wow. Well, whenever you decide to break that news to him, take it easy. He's been through a lot. He cares about you. Still gonna need that. There he is. She's getting tall. I know. It's funny. Sometimes it seems like she'd rather live with you than with us. When are you gonna have some of your own? Huh. You'd have to get a date first. That hole in your chest hasn't affected your ability to cut me down. Don't pay any attention to him. That's just him covering up that he actually missed you the other night. Is that right? I'm on a lot of medication. <laughs> Mind if I stay on for a minute, Jen? Sure. It's good to see everything started on the home front with you, man. Yeah, I can't complain. How about you? Morris got you running solo? Not quite. I transferred from Texas. Are you training him or what? No. Something's going on that needs to stay between us right now. Can't tell anyone. Not even Jen. Chicago kicked something new at us and it spread to the Southwest already. Is it on the methamphetamine shelf? I don't know. But it got Washington to issue a state of emergency. Those guys you saw yesterday, they're leading a containment effort against it. Damn. More say where they're operating out of. Feds, maybe. I've been asking that for two days. So far, no straight answer. But it definitely has cartels stamped all over it. I'd give anything to go out with those guys and see some real shit. I know I can't ask that from you or Jen. Not after what happened. I let you down once. Can't let that happen again. Think the doc would be good with you on your feet tomorrow? Fuck if I care. Most action I've seen is walking to the mailbox. I hear you, man. Is that shoulder? That's all right. It'll be good. We're also learning this morning more about the killing of a U.S. Border Patrol agent along the Mexico-Arizona border Tuesday. Josh, good morning to you. This is a very famous drug trafficking corridor, one of the most famous, in fact, of the entire border. And for that reason, investigators suspect what happened to Agent Ivy could be connected to narco-trafficking. This morning, these hills in Naco, Arizona, just three miles from the U.S.-Mexico border, remain a crime scene. Agent Ivy died in the line of duty protecting our nation against those who threaten our way of life. This morning, as they search for his killer, Border Patrol agents are remembering the life of one of their own. Hey, 
probably is. Quite a haul when you pick these guys up from. Play it again. Alright. Last name. Got him. piece of paper your daddy got you don't mean shit. You wanna wear my stripes? Show me why. Stay here. Muy bien, gracias. Hice algo mal. ¿Tienes prisa o qué? No, no, señor. Salte del coche. La niña también. Salte del carro. That's for the papers. That's what it's my penis for one. Tienes todos tus papeles en orden en Jimenez. Sí, señor. ¿Cuál es su fecha de nacimiento? Mira a mí. No a él. ¿Cuál es tu cumpleaños? No te sabes tu cumpleaños o qué? ¿Cómo te llamas? Silvia. Silvia. ¿Vas a la escuela, Silvia? Sí. ¿Cuál es tu materia favorita? Me gusta historia. Ah, historia. Quiero ser maestra. Tienes que tener buenas calificaciones entonces. ¿Sabes qué tan duro trabajó mi padre para traer a mi madre y yo aquí? Y me insultes pensando que puedes tomar el camino fácil. Con este pedazo de mierda falsa. Hey, ¡Es un pinche desgracia! ¡Tú sabes qué estás pasando! ¿Qué ejemplo estoy? Estás dando a tu niña. ¿Hay alguien más con quien puedo hablar? ¿Alguien que sabe cómo hacer su trabajo? So hold up. ¡No nos dejará salir! Revisa los papeles usted mismo. Cállate la boca, cabrón. Sir, may I see your papers? Madre, cabrón! Get him out of here! Celia! Se lo ven! Está bien, hijo, está bien. Celia! What are you doing? They were fake. And how the hell do you know that? You practically made that kid shit herself into not talking.
thermal high of about 82 degrees by this afternoon. Clear skies tonight with a low near 70. Increasing cloudiness. Sure, this is cool. Fresh cook site, tents in the area. If we run into some heat, we can have the extra hand where they want it or not. There's something you're not telling me. Now's the time. You guys work a little differently. Who's this? It's Tholi. Just got back from Medley. What's he doing here? Active site. You can use an extra gun with us. Made that decision on your own, huh? These are my guys. And their lives are my responsibility, not yours. You don't get to decide who comes into the circle. I do. Hostile cook site or fucking kill my hopscotch. I'm not about to let somebody I don't know tag along. I'm sorry he told you one thing and I'm telling you another, but there's no room for you here. Let's go. If he stays, I stay. If you want to go in shorthanded, that's fine. But I don't have to be the vet to know when to call and help. All right. But he's your baggage. How are you doing today? Can't complain other than the seat. One of our choppers spotted you wandering around out here. You mind telling me what you're doing out here? Oh, I'm just coming from San Lucas. Me and my wife doing the resort thing for a week. You why? Yeah, she forgot something uh, back home, so I just came to go get it. And you were looking for it out there? No, I didn't have a signal, so I was just hoping to get a bar or two. Well, it's a hell of a drive. Where are you heading to? Uh, we live just in Sourita. Sir, I'm going to have to ask you what you're doing all the way over here, then. Living in Sourita, you don't want to pass over Nogales Station? Same one you came through on your way in. You're in Agua Prieta, 115 miles east of where you should be. Look, it's our first time down here. I probably just got turned around. It's a major corridor for drug activity. A lot of people want to pass through here. People you don't want to run into. I understand. I'm very sorry. Well, I'm happy to get you where you need to be. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, well, you got a GPS or anything like that? Uh, I should. Well, guess no vacation be complete without it, right?
Any more of your buddies running around I should know about? What are you guys cooking up out here? If anything like that last side we found, I venture to say your outfit needs a new chef ship with weak. In bay? No. Get us some water. Is that solo? ¿Cómo te llamas? Yo Miguel. ¿Qué andas haciendo aquí, Miguel? Te pregunto, ¿qué estás haciendo aquí? Solo soy el chofer. Es que necesito el dinero. Sabes que el transporte de drogas es un crimen, ¿verdad? Es algo muy serio, en especial en este país, Miguel. Nomás los manejo donde necesitan que irse. Los, los, los vuelvo para atrás. Es, 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 no hay drogas aquí. Estos cabrones no son canales tuyos. ¿No preferirías estar con tu familia en vez de estar aquí? Pues sí, señor. Sí. Mira, Miguel, me la voy a llevar leve contigo. Te llevo al hospital, te sacan la bala y te mando de regreso a México con tu familia. ¿Qué te parece? Sí, me parece bien. Tienes que llorarme que vas a dejar de ayudar a esos cabrones. ¿Puedes hacer eso? Sí, señor. ¿Y de dónde están? Sí, ya se fueron. ¿A dónde se fueron? No lo sé. Pues, piensen en ello. Miguel. Hay una parada entre medio. Pues ahí descansan, antes que se vayan más al norte. Miguel, ¿dónde está la parada? Es que no te puedo decir, me van a matar. Yo te voy a dar un puto plomazo si no me dices, cabrón. Pero ahorita tienes la opción de salir viva de todo esto, Miguel. No, esperen, por favor. ¿Quién más está aquí? Es mi hija nomás, por favor, no le hagas nada. Dile que salgan. Despacito. Mija, mija, salte. No tengas miedo, estos hombres están aquí para ayudar.
eres un mentoroso, Miguel. Tú me dijiste que no había nadie más. Ahora no, no, no es nada. Cállate. Miguel, ¿dónde está la parada? dices, salimos todos sanos y salvos. Los narcos nunca te van a encontrar a ti ni a tu familia. Ah, ah, ay, la, casa, la casa está a 30 minas de aquí, no está lejos. De ahí se va a ver en la mañana. Le acabas de salvar la vida a tu familia. Sácale la bala. ¿Quieres agua, niño? Don't drink that. Déjame ver tu brazo. Jesus, fuck. Shane. They aren't peddling bottom shelf product anymore. What the hell is that? No official name in the books yet. For now, they're calling it a crocodile with a K. It's its name from the pattern it leaves on the victim's skin. We weren't sure if it had made its way out of New Mexico yet. Guess we just got our answer. Is there a vaccine? Something we can administer to at least fight it? Doubtful. Obviously, this little one didn't mean for it to happen, so it was probably an accident. Small mountain water, help, maybe even the constant fumes did it. It's supposed to be the best high in the market. But as you can see, it comes with a cost. Don't suppose you'll be sampling that. The more a person does, the further it spreads over the body. Do enough of it and she'll eat right through to the bone. Could be prone to spread through saliva, maybe even contact. We'll get him in to see somebody. Get the little girl in back, get that fixed up. You two come back to HQ with me. Shane and the boys can wait for emergency response to arrive. Llegaste temprano. Eso solo puede significar una cosa. Me traes malas noticias. Nuestro hombre nunca llegó. Se lo llevaron la jura y se quedaron con todo, con todo. Oh. Sí, hasta con todo. ¿Y has venido para decirme tu plan para arreglar esto? ¿Sí? Hicimos todo sin, sin que nos vieran. Cruzamos la frontera y hasta agarramos un americano para el transporte. Hicimos todo como usted lo quiso. No es nuestra culpa. Quítate los zapatos. Vamos, quítate los.
los casetines también. ¿Sientes eso? Estás parado en una piedra site del siglo XIV. Muchos hombres han muerto desde el momento en que fue tomado de la tierra, transportado sobre los océanos y elaborado en el producto final. Me han dicho que el valor se deprecia cuando camina sobre ella. Pero ese a mí no me importa. Eso es solo material. Así que a mí no me importa. Contrastes y confiastes en un desgastado con mi producto. No hiciste lo que te pedí. Si lo hubieras hecho, ese embarque nos hubiera traído más de 200 mil dólares que ahora tus repugnantes pies están parados. Relájate. Este es un medio obstáculo en el camino a nuestro viaje a lo alto. Y no debemos dejar a que nos desanime. A mí no me desanimo, y a ti debería también. Sí, jefe. Vamos a tomar las medidas para evitar que esto vuelva a ocurrir. ¿No estás de acuerdo? Sí, nunca jamás. Es otra cosa. Mi primo Ernesto fue recogido por inmigración y se lo llevaron. ¿Por qué? Estoy seguro. Andaba buscando trabajo en la misma calle donde ha estado por años. Dijo que el hombre que lo recogió era mexicano, haciéndose pasar por civil. ¿Y él está seguro de esto? Sí, jefe. Seguro. Dice que manejó una troca llena de trabajadores directamente a la, la entrada. Asqueroso. Esto será examinado. Uno para el camino. Para el éxito. Ambos caminos estarán bloqueados. Estarán andantemente observando. Prepare otro cargamento. Llévelo por Sir Vista. Vamos a evitar las carreteras. ¿Quién no listo para la mañana? Patrón, un cargamento así de grande. Nos tome por lo menos 24 horas.
Sir? Hell of a day from what I hear. Y'all headed out for the night? Yeah. That's more than I can say for you. All good things in this job come with a whole shit storm of paperwork. With this 240-pound seizure of crock this afternoon, it's created a whole new list of problems. If that transport hadn't been caught with a bag of cheap weed in the glove box, this would all be sold on every street corner in the South Barrio by sundown. It took Sully long today. And? Well, Ivan's definitely a personality that takes some getting used to. I mean, his whole team is, but he did everything by the book as far as I could tell. Matter of fact, he's the one that spotted it. If it hadn't been for him, we might all be in ICU right now. Has he filled you in on the rest of Ivan's activities since his arrival? Yes, and I am in no way defending him, sir. Good. Don't. So I called the station chief over in Texas. He had the same problems there. He cleaned up a hell of a mess, but he's a loose cannon when it came to handling other affairs. So how did they handle him? From what I hear, the best thing we can do is just wait him out. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. They'll move on from here just like they did in Texas. What I don't understand is how something like this has been allowed to go on for so long. I mean, I know these are some higher ups, but someone even above them must have heard something by now. Unfortunately, in cases like this where the primary objective is being met, all else is forgiven. Ivan produces results, so he's left alone. I can't say whether or not his promise to a boost to NSA is true. But what I can say is this. After what you've seen, nobody, and I mean nobody, including me, can expect you to stay with this guy. That's a decision that's yours and yours alone. Thank you, sir. But I have to stay, and not for his offer. Reyes. I want him to know that everything he's done has been witnessed and will be documented for the day he has to answer to it. I don't want you doing this. Is that an order? No, it's not an order. But if it's something you feel like you need to see through, then you do it together. But you stay back. That is an order. Unfortunately, we live in a time where the sun doesn't have to go down for bad people to come out. You know what I mean? I'd like to speak with the family from today. See how the kid is holding up. What family? The family we retrieved from the cook site today. Ivan's guys brought the girl in for treatment. Reyes, they came back alone. and let him up. Go back inside, Chief. I said let him up. You sure you want to do that? Doubt my people would like hearing about this. It's not that it would affect me any. You're the one who's going to be out of a job. That's a risk I'm willing to take. At least we get the answer to where a piece of shit like you comes from. Now, I've asked you twice to let him up. I won't ask a third time. supposed to bring them back. You saw the shape the kid was in? Exactly. We're dealing with an element we don't understand. If we had brought them in, this entire facility would be on lockdown right now under a plastic bubble, and we'd all be getting scrubbed down by hazmat. Getting you to leave was the only way I could do what I needed to get done. You mean killing them? Transporting them to CDC. That's bullshit. If you want to go back out and dig through ditches, be my guest. But something like this can't be taken lightly. If this proves to be airborne, then they're exactly where they need to be right now, with the lab coats at disease control. You're too attached. Grow the fuck up and realize that it's not about you wanting to do the humane thing. If it was up to me. If it was up to you, we'd all be in jeopardy right now. I am this close 
to finally putting this to bed forever. And if you or you get in my way, I will run you over. I think it's best that we just run our course, finish this, and then we'll be on our way. No sense in anyone getting hurt when we're all playing for the same side, right, Chief? Let's not all let this hide the fact that we did solid work today getting intel in a hot spot for resupply. We're hitting that tomorrow. But tonight we celebrate. Celebrate what? Another day that we get to come home from this job. That's reason enough for me. Non ti va a chiacchierare con me? I'm finding the place, ladies. You made it. What do you think, Slugger? Certainly not your first rodeo. <laughs> Keg's over there. Take a walk, but don't just fucking stand there. You good for tomorrow? Why? Big day for you. First time running your luck with the Chicago Cowboys. What makes you say that? You guys back at the cook side were cartel guys? <laughs> no. Those were piss out errand boys. Pledges if they have such a thing. And I know it's your first time. I see it in your eyes. There's still a lot they haven't seen. Been in this long enough to tell who's seen everything and who hasn't. Same for Sully. Something happened that almost took him away. Now it's carved in his face. And it'll never change. Don't know what it was, but he came close. It wasn't cartel, if that's what you're thinking. Well, I know that. I don't glorify them the way everyone else seems to. The only thing that separates them from any other bad person out there with a gun? It's numbers and organization. Anybody can pull a trigger. Well, that's not all you gotta be prepared for. It's the aftermath. The shit they leave in their wake. That kind of inhumanity stays with you. Sometimes I think I could have stayed where I was at. Nice desk job in D.C., steady paycheck, really steady. Stayed married. <laughs> but after 14 years, same shit, man wants more. She said she'd leave. If I took the job, she thought it'd change me. Did it? No, Reyes. I've always been a patriot. I have the old man to thank for that. I just grew tired of hearing about the same fucking people helping themselves to my country, my home, my opportunities. That's when I decided to put myself on the very front line and do anything I could to stop it. Give up everything, including a 14-year-old marriage. Sounds like quite the decision. 
Leaving that all behind? Somebody that loves you? No, I just had to ask myself, was I happy or just unaware? When you give up everything except that one thing that you really care about, you're able to be the very best at that one thing. Protected from anything that comes in its path. That one thing for me is country. Bet a lot of people have been caught in your path. Mm -hmm. You don't remember a single face, do you? All a stack of papers. That's not entirely true, Reyes. Coyotes transporting a truckload of shooters to a checkpoint for an ambush. I remember their faces. A woman dragging a filthy mattress stuffed with three dead infants back to the family they'd been abducted from. Good on names, but I remember her too. Just the bad ones, then. What about anybody illegal been unfortunate to come in contact with you? Oh, I remember you. Fine. Fine. El Paso. Shane and I have been. Pulled up with the guys in a shit-ass motel with no AC for about eight days. Waiting to get a tip on the whereabouts of Nesto the Diamond Padilla. Nesto was number three on the Chacal chain. Ivan. I don't know what happened. Adrenaline from the fight. Being cooped up with four guys in a hotel. Wounds still fresh from a divorce. Even seen a friend get shot, but... Hey, Reyes. 
Thanks for coming by. Really. You sure about this? You don't have to come. I'll tell them you're too hungover from last night or whatever. But I'm going. Even if you don't have my back. It's not what I'm saying. Really? I kind of think it is. This isn't what you and I do. Kicking down doors. Firefights. We don't have the training for it. To survive it. You're the one who wanted to go out with these guys so bad. What happened? I just don't have a good feeling about today, okay, man? I'm scared. So am I. With that and fear aside, you don't have to hear the things he said to me. If I don't do something while I have him in my sights, he's going to disappear forever. I need you on this, man. Fred! You're here early, Chief. Yeah, I came to see you all off. Listen, be careful out there today. Hang back, let Ivan do his thing so he can get out of here as soon as possible. Listen, do not draw a line in the sand with this man unless you're prepared to have him step across it. You read me? All right, see you all when you get back. All right, guys, the day is here. Since beefing up the two main arteries at the border, Three Points has become the biggest trafficking court. That's where we're going. Our target sits in a very open area of land, which leaves a lot of room for hazard and none for mistakes. BP has been kind enough to convoy with us, but in order to maintain the element of surprise, we're going to have to break it off and hoof it a mile out. This is a large resupply hub for the Chacal cartel, headed over by our boy, Javier Arturo. We don't know what we'll be walking into, but our objective is to cut off any resources they have when crossing the border and preventing any more of this nasty shit from coming in. If you encounter any of the substance on site, back the fuck off. That's a hazmat issue, not ours. We're going into clear, gather information on any more of the little motels that they have, and get the fuck out. As always, hope for the best, prepare for the worst.
Ángel. ¿Qué hubo, jefe? Dame esa silla. ¿Estás notando, Antonio? Ey, ando mirando la tele. Dame esa silla ahorita, cabrón. Siéntate en el suelo. Ey, quítate esa madre. ¡Ojos abiertos! ¡Simón! running around out there, Pablo? Lang Glaze? You should learn that might help you fit in well with the locals. Who else is out there? I really don't like surprises, so tell me now, and you might get out of this alive, because it's not looking so good for you right now. What about shipment? Brock? I know you didn't come up here for sightseeing, so where is it? Where's it going? How many of these little vacation spots you got, hmm? 
come up here, a little fiesta, and blow each other in the back room. <laughs> Funny bone, didn't we? I think you do have the English just fine, don't you? How about I skin you and your little fucking boyfriends? Hang you out and leave the vultures to get at you, huh? I think that'll wipe the fucking grin off your stupid fucking face. You think their deaths weigh heavy on me? You don't get attached to this business. Any day, any damn day can be your last. So if you're gonna threaten me, you're gonna have to try harder. Come on, mierda. Please explain. No, it's nice about this. Never runs out of bullets. I could stick it anywhere till the sun goes down. I know you have more supply stops. Where? Even if I told you, you'd still kill me. See, I know men like you. Your country has monsters. Worse than ours. That's how we're able to protect it. You will not leave this life without paying for your crimes. Tell me where! That's enough, Ivan! What are you doing, Reyes? Putting an end to this. To what? Gathering intel from the enemy, doing the job we all signed up to do? No. To you. I guess without me, there's no NSA boost. You'll stay right where you are, bird watching at the fence. I can live with that. Letting you leave, to continue doing what you're doing, something I can't. So what? You'll bury us all, drag him back to Big Daddy Morris, be the hero? Is that it? He's more valuable to us alive than dead. I'm not gonna waste the fucking energy digging you a grave. Drop the gun! Drop it! Fine. But only because I know this isn't you. You're not gonna shoot anyone. You've got an escape plan and you know it. Six of us go in and only two of you come out. Might look a little suspect when my people come knocking. Especially when four of their senior task agents couldn't handle five of these little lanky motherfuckers. Not likely. Say five? Maybe I say fifteen. And the others got away. Not before mowing your team down. Guess I taught you something after all, didn't I? But you're not gonna pull that trigger because that'll make you one step closer to being me. You put that gun down, and there's a chance everybody can get out of here alive and we'll put it all behind us. You did a hell of a thing today, both of you. Cut off a major artery to the enemy. And now they'll slowly funnel down south until they're back on their own side. Damn fine work for two guys who were just watching the fence three weeks ago. Oh. Oh. I had every intention of keeping my word and moving on when the job was done. I really did. You are where you are because of the decisions that you made, Reyes. And now you put somebody else's life on the line. How does that make you feel? You're a good man, Reyes. You stand up for your values and your beliefs just as I do. I respect that. Which is why I hate that you put me in this position. But that's the nature of the job to do what other people won't do, to remove yourself from right and wrong. It's what the people don't see that keeps the country safe. Unfortunately, now you've had to see those things. So murdering a child and her father is keeping us safe? Collateral damage. No, don't. I know what you are. Morris knows what you are. Morris is smart and wants to keep his desk. Every station head is the same. They keep their mouth shut and let me pass through. Well, you can believe I'm gonna talk. 
Make sure this whole fucking thing spills. You want? Yeah. Every fucking word. Sally. I don't know the story on you, but you seem like a nice guy. Were you married? Have kids? Yeah. That's a daughter. How old? Teenager. That's nice. Anything you want your partner to tell her since you won't be coming home? You won't say anything, Ivan. This is between us. It's all right, man. Wait, your stance on the situation yet? Get you back to HQ, get you fixed up, you'll be back at the fence in six weeks. I tell the NSA what a fine, upstanding agent Reyes de Beta is worthy of promotion. And most importantly, you never have to see me again. All this can be yours for the promise of silence. What do you say? I say you're a piece of shit, disgraced to your nation. Who doesn't deserve this freedom? It's like the man who raised you. And yours would be disappointed that you gave up everything that he worked for. you abandon and you've been fighting the war against my product I think you know who I am I should know who you are one of our own in uniform I had to see you to believe it and here Likely the work of two people. Where are the rest of your boys? They left you, didn't they? You chose the wrong side, Pocho. You have to be feeling that now. Definitely now. Do what you hear. When I first heard of you, I was sickened, disgusted to my core. You would turn away your own kind for a better life? I wouldn't want to live here. I love my country, my home. But I get it. You don't know anything about me. But I do. Your family wanted to get out. Come live with the gringos. That's fine. But to put on this uniform, take that oath against us, even to a guy like me, that's combated, unforgivable. After I got through the phase of what I'd do to you if I ever found you, I start to see you as a blessing in disguise. Why kill you when I could finally have eyes and ears on the inside? 
made a long trip to be disappointed. Did I? A gun in the face won't sway me. The same way I did it. The last one you fucks tried it on my father. And he's dead. These aren't your beliefs. They're his. You're a free man. Able to make his own choice. Walk his own road. His was a selfish one that left your mother on her own. How is Elena, by the way? <laughs> no, I won't give her. She'll come work for me. I'll put Elena on her own corner, on the busiest street in the entire city. Buy her some new clothes, show a little skin. My girls have been known to pull in four or five thousand in a weekend. Sometimes I'm guilty of sampling myself. I'm a gentle soul, but I can't say the same for these pigs, no? <laughs> I can make you a very wealthy man, Reyes. You won't have to pull a single trigger. Whenever a move is made, you just let me know. Okay? That's it. You can continue living where you are, be financially secure forever, and never even have to see me ever again. What do you say? Chinga tu madre.